Here's the S1 Plus from Autovox. The top of the range, most complicated transceiver from Autovox. Uh, called the S1 Plus because it has plus antenna technology, which means that it, of, it has a choice of antennas that it can transmit on to optimise you being found when you're buried. Um, a lot of transceivers now have smart antenna technology, and uh, so for Autovox, if it's got a plus after the name, that's what it means. Okay, inside the box, we have the transceiver itself and the body harness. You have a lanyard attached to the transceiver, which you can either clip to yourself, pocket, belt loop, that sort of thing, or there is a clip on the body harness that you clip onto the lanyard, making sure you're always attached to it. So that's the Autovox S1 Plus harness. It has a adjustable shoulder strap and a slightly elasticated weight belt. Not much different from most of the others. It uses a bag to hold the transceiver. It seems to be a combination of bags and boxes across the different models. But a nice light, lightweight uh, mesh bag. So inside you've got the transceiver attached to a lanyard of adjustable length. Okay, so that's how you use the transceiver. Now when you finish with it, just pop it back in the bag. and zip it up. The bag's got a nice big pull on it so it's not difficult to open. Uh, the shoulder strap, people get a bit confused trying to put these harnesses on so what's nice about this one is that the shoulder strap is labelled as such so it makes it a bit easier to identify which way around to put the harness on. So that's the Autovox S1 harness. On the outside of the S1 when it's closed is the power selector so flick that up for on if I open the transceiver now, you'd be able to see it doing its uh, self-test routine. So, okay, that's the self-test. It'll finish that. Reminds me about mobile phone interference. And then because it's open, it goes into search mode. A little bit of not picking up a signal, just electromagnetic interference. And if I close it, it goes into transmit mode. And I get the two little flashing orange lights. Okay, when I want to go into search mode, I just open the transceiver and it goes automatically into search mode. Warns me about mobile phone interference and there it is. Okay, it's picking up a bit of electromagnetic interference but there's the core search graphic. Um, in my experience, the more complicated transceivers are a little bit more prone to picking up electromagnetic interference but it's only an issue in testing videos, but not actually out on snow slopes where you actually use the transceiver. Okay, for an example of the actual search techniques, you'll you have a look at the other video, but I just want to say that the S1 Plus is the only transceiver that not only displays the fact that it's receiving other signals, up to four, but it also displays the other, it'll guide you to the strongest signal, but it will display the relative position of the other transceivers on the screen. So while other, other models that we sell will tell you there are more signals to be found, the S1 Plus will actually show you where they are at the moment as well. Okay, have a look at the search video. And um, I would say the S1 Plus is probably the most sophisticated when it comes to dealing with multiple burial situations. But as BCA's research shows, those situations are very, very rare. Okay, so in use, I've got the OK mark button here. So if I found a transceiver and I wanted to mark it and go and search for a second transceiver, I would just click the OK button when the first, I was over the first transceiver. Okay, and the other button I've got is the menu button. So it's not really used in general search, but, if I, but even if, while I'm searching, there's, if I hold down the menu button and I have to hold it down for several seconds, I go into the menu. Okay, so the icons I've got here, the first one is group check. So at the start of the day, if I want to do a group check, I go into that mode. 
This is four plus, so this is what a mode you can use if there are more than four people buried. And it uses a technique called micro strips. So it reduces the width, not the width, it reduces the range of the transceiver to five meters and it expects you to walk across the avalanche debris in tiny strips and it'll only tell you about transceivers that you are right next to. Okay, that is used when you have so many overlapping signals and people buried close to each other that all the digital processing tools just aren't really working. Okay, so that's four plus mode. That is standard search mode and then we've got setup. So I click OK, we just have a quick look at setup. I can adjust the volume, the auto revert time, I've got the information, contrast, software update. Uh, this one is quite interesting. So if I go to the inclinometer, okay, here I can use the transceiver as an inclinometer and measure slope angle, which of course is quite important when it comes to avalanche prediction and awareness. Uh, exit that mode, okay, and uh, so I've gone back to there, it's set up. Then I've got ABC is kind of the setup screen, putting your name and telephone number on the transceiver. And finally, the last one is going back into search mode. Okay. Uh, to go back into transmit mode, I just close the transceiver, goes into transmit, and it also has an auto revert function so that after a certain amount of time without movement, the transceiver will go back into transmit mode, worried that you've been buried in a secondary avalanche. So the S1 Plus is one of the most sophisticated transceivers on the market, really optimised for professional and guide use with its multiple burial features. May not be the best unit for those that don't use their transceiver a lot, maybe only once a year and should go for something that's a bit more one button, no features, can't really use it incorrectly. But if you're after those extra features, the S1 is a really good transceiver.